Tulsa's only morning talk show, The Pat Campbell Show. It is not racist. Black people can't even be racist. We don't have enough institutional power to be racist. What makes these Spanish people so special? They have a choice, Spanish or English. Yeah, yes, this happens in the United States, and we determine it is the result of extremist, fundamentalist Muslims. You could take out their holy sites. You're talking about bombing Mecca. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me get this right. You went on a television network no one watches to debate a radio host no one listens to. Exactly. Now. Here's Pat Campbell on Talk Radio 1170 KFAQ. 8077 past the hour. Welcome into the third and final hour of this a Monday edition of the Pat Campbell Show, April 28th, 2008. Delighted to have you on board. As promised, we're now joined by a friend of mine, Attorney Jack Thompson from Coral Gables, Florida, for what I call a, a jack attack. Anytime Jack's on the program, we call it a jack attack. And he's got some uh, pretty interesting information about a video game that is available, Grand Theft Auto 4, that has some unbelievably sexually explicit material that he believes, and I believe, uh, is harmful to, uh, to, to minors. And uh, he's also got our uh, local district attorney already involved. Jack, welcome to the program. Hey, Pat. Good to be with you. Good to be back in Oklahoma. Jack, for, for those who aren't familiar with you, maybe never have heard you before, who are you and why do you care about video games? Well, first of all, congratulations if you've never heard of me. Uh, <laughs> secondly, uh, people may have seen me by a television accident on 60 Minutes. I've been on the Today Show eight times, uh, featured on Nightline, uh, various shows, not because I'm any great shakes. I'll prove that in just a moment, moment but rather because for 20 years I've come against the entertainment industry's marketing and sale of adult entertainment to children. And uh, specifically what we're talking about here is the latest iteration of the Grand Theft Auto games made by Take-Two Interactive of New York. This version is beyond belief, Pat, and I, I've been litigating these issues uh, as a lawyer for 20-some years, and this is so far over the line that the law draws as to what can be sold to children, specifically sexual material harmful to minors, and Oklahoma has a statute that prohibits that, that I can't quite believe my own eyes. But this game, which is going on sale at midnight across the country uh, and promises to be the most popular uh, video game probably of all time, certainly the Grand Theft Auto franchise is, has sexual material in it that I have to be careful as to how I even describe it. But it, you've seen it if you've clicked on the link I've sent you today. Uh, it has uh, sex acts being performed and simulated in a in a strip club. Uh, it has uh, uh, come-ons by prostitutes on the street with language I can't describe. Then, of course, you can either uh, shoot with a shotgun, an automatic weapon, or run over with your car the prostitute you've just had sex with. And what is is remarkable is that Take-Two has decided to let the cat out of the bag 24 hours early this weekend uh, when they put out at IGN.com, which is uh, the uh, video game site owned and operated by Rupert Murdoch's Fox News Corp., a streaming audio and video of the sex content in the game called the Ladies of Liberty City. And there it all is. So there's no, there's no, uh, surmise here. There's no Jack Thompson characterizing in unfairly, uh, what's in the game. It's all there. And, and that's why I've written your district attorney, Tim Harris. I've also this weekend, this morning, just knowing I'd be on your show. And I'm sure he's a good man, and I'm sure he'll do the right thing and, and, and get this game before a, a duty judge and get a probable cause finding that this is a criminal act to sell this at Best Buy, Target, Walmart throughout Tulsa. Now, and, and I was explaining earlier in the program before we brought you on to, to listeners some of the problems with the original Grand Theft Auto where you have virtual sex with a prostitute. You get bonus points if you kill her. Which is which is pretty bad, and we've had you on programs before where where parents with uh, you know kids as young as ten have called in and say, well, my kids got that game. Yeah. And 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 we should point out too, you're you're not trying to keep this out of the hands of adults, but again, you know, just as a side note here, I don't even know why an adult would want to spend a lot of time with this because garbage in, garbage out. But you you want to, you want to keep this this from kids, and you also a couple of years ago used your own 10-year-old son at the time, sent him into a store, and they sold this to him without without blinking. 
Well, they sold it to uh, uh, to my then ten year old son, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, this is that was Best Buy that claims to have the most rigid policy on this, and, and in fact, uh, the Federal Trade Commission has found roughly forty percent of the time, major retailers sell any age uh, or any rating game to anybody of any age. So, so uh, you know, if you had a forty percent failure rate. Um, of the sale of beer to kids at 7-Eleven, you'd have people going to jail. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is, Pat, I cannot um, stress enough to your audience. If you, if you want to see how bad this is, go to IGN.com and click on the videos, uh, the offerings that Take Two has provided to this website and click on Ladies of uh, Liberty City and, and you can see for yourself that the sale of this to any minor in the country will indeed be a criminal act. There are, the chairman of Take Two, Strauss Delnick, ought to be going eventually to jail. And I, and I predict there will be criminal prosecutions here. As, as soon as one prosecution yeah. starts, there are going to be uh, numerous ones across the country because this is not even close. And let me say, the video game industry is, is uh, very deceptive in that, unlike uh, every other country in the world, uh, where if you sell an adult game like this to a kid, you you commit a criminal act and you're you're prosecuted for it. In this country, we rate the games and then we market and sell the dickens out of them to other people's kids. And so when the industry says we want parents to be more responsible, amen to that. But it, what that means is we want to be able to sell this to your kid who walks up to the point of sale device at Best Buy or Walmart, and if there's no parent around. Uh, we want to sell it to your kid yeah. directly. Yeah, but you, 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 my you, son, I call him Stinger. He's 15 now. Yeah. He's able to go into Best Buy, Walmart, Target, and he buys all of these games while I videotape him doing it to prove that they don't even ask for his ID. You know, Jack, most parents, This is here's the reality. Most parents are, are painfully ignorant, painfully unaware of what their kids are, are playing video game-wise. And the industry would turn around. What What is the rating on the box here? Is it M for mature? Yeah, and it, okay. says, it and, says on it, strong sexual content, right. gore, violence, profane language, drug use. And it's, it, you yeah. know, parents wake up. And, and they, I'm, they, I'm, the I'm video gaming, yeah, the, the video gaming community and, and the companies that sell this would say, it is the parents' responsibility. We've, you know, we've put the rating on there. It is up to you to determine whether or not this is suitable for your okay. child. That's your responsibility. Okay, here's the problem with that argument. Let me make it real clear. If a kid walked into an X, triple X bookstore and bought, uh, a, a, a pornographic book, an adult book, uh, that would not fly with law enforcement, nor should it. Because if the kid shows up and you sell it to him and you don't check his ID, then you are criminally culpable for sure. selling it to him. Sure. So the, 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 the point is, of course, it's the parent's responsibility. It's my responsibility not to let my kid go to Best Buy, Target, Walmart, and so forth, and, and, and purchase these things. But the next layer of protection is that if some kid does wander into those stores and wants to buy this adult game, which has clearly been mislabeled intentionally so by the Entertainment Software Rating Board, then then it's the retailer's responsibility not to do this. And, in fact, if you go to BestBuy.com, Mr. Dunn, who's the CEO of Best Buy, has this wonderful public service announcement in which he says, oh, we would never sell our mature-rated games to anyone underage. And yet my son in the Federal Trade Commission finds repeatedly you can go into Best Buy and buy these games and they don't check your ID. So they've got to stop – they've got to start living up to what they say is their store policy. But this – this game, Pat, which is going to they expect 400 million in sales yeah. in the first 24 hours, and, and it's and it's heavily marketed on programs. Oh the goodness, teenage it's teenage on boys, WWE wrestling, teenage boys teen watch magazine, right? right. And, and and you every teenage boy that's anybody out there is going to want to get their hands on this because oh, it's going to be the hip is, thing. My son is is uh, beating on me to buy it because all his friends are going to get it, and their parents are foolishly going to let him get it. But but here's the problem. 